In this video, we will review the basics of circular motion, which are so useful in other areas of physics, like for example, gravitation, magnetism, atomic physics, mechanics, etc. We will approach notions as to the definition of an angle, angular velocity, centripetal acceleration and centripetal force. We will discuss the relations between these quantities and how to apply these quantities to practical physics problems. This video is about circular motion, so let's draw a circle. A circle of radius r. Now let's imagine we have a body circulating around this circle, so in circular motion, and that it starts at point M and covers the arc MN. So this arc MN could be called S. At the same time, it would cover an angle theta. So note that we have two ways of knowing where n is. We could define some coordinates, Cartesian coordinates, by defining two axes, x and y. So n would have a coordinate x and a coordinate y. We could also define the position of point n with the angle and the radius of the circle. Okay, so let's see the relationship we have between r, theta, and s. This relationship is actually s equals r multiplied by theta. Think about it. If I increase the radius and I keep theta constant, what happens to the arc? Well, it increases proportionally. Now, if I fix the radius and I increase the angle, what happens to the arc? Well, it increases also proportionally. That's why we have S equals R theta, a very important relation. Now, we can rewrite this relation as theta equals S over R. That gives us information about theta. Theta, the angle, is actually just a ratio of distances. Meters over meters. An angle has no unit. So we humans, we need units. We need to cling on something. So we can define a unit. If the arc has the same length as the radius, then you can see that theta equals one. One radian. That is the definition of the radian. A radian is the angle covered by an arc S when it is equal to the radius. Mm -hmm. 